Hello, welcome to um, Spotlight video on one of my favorite all-time Neil Adams series, the Strange Adventures uh, series with Dead Men. And here you have uh, issue two hundred five. I brought this out even though it's not uh, drawn by Neil Adams, but it kick off the Dead Man um, appearances. And here's my copy. A fairly inexpensive book, in my opinion. Beautiful copy. And you know, to me, it's you know, if anyone asks me what would be a uh, hidden gems, undervalued Silver Age books, I would say this one because to me, Dead Man is such a cool character. The art inside is decent. The origin of, of Dead Man is pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure if I will load this video before my yeah, my video that uh, showcased this book in the first appearance reading, but it's a decent story. I enjoyed it. Short but good. And um, you have Carmine Infantino as the artist. It's actually pretty good. Of course, Neil Adams make everything look much cooler, you know. But uh, you have to tip your head to Carmine Infantino to create the character. Just look at that. It's such a cool look. There you go, that's his death right there. And there is the birth of Dead Man. And that's the first time you see um, the showcase part of his power as he was able to take over someone else's body. Look at this ad. That have the I'm pretty sure that's the Jill Kane drawing right there. It has a classic Jill Kane look. I will show um, because I love this series so much. I will instead of just show um, all the books of this run um, in one video, I will flip through every book just to uh, show the beautiful work inside by the young, a very young Neil Adams. So that's it. So, and here is the first time Neil Adams. The next issue, issue two hundred six. This is my beautiful copy. I bought this one from a collector that de-slapped it. This was a 9.0 in a CGC slab. He took it out of the slab. Neil Adams did not do the cover. But, okay, uh, as you can see, uh, if somebody de-slapped the book, I keep the microchamber paper inside. No need to throw it out. Now, this book is inked by I believe George Russo. That name is probably more familiar to the Marvel zombies out there that he's a colorist. He spent, I believe, a good part of his career, maybe 15 to 20 years in the mid 70s through the early 90s as a colorist over at Marvel. But he was an anchor here. He spent many years as an anchor over at um, DC. And I'm not a big fan of his inking because if you look at this, you can barely see Neil Adams' uh, work, okay? Uh, you can tell it's Neil Adams, but the quality of the inking is, in my opinion, weak.
the panel layout, the action, the angles of the drawing, the, the characters are all well, very well, but as you can see, the inking is just really spotty, very crude, in my opinion. I remember the first time I flipped through this book, uh, I, I was, you know, I knew it looked a lot like Neil Adams, but I'm just like, why is this so uh, weak, in my opinion? But now you know, it's George Russo inking. Thankfully, he did not ink a lot of Neil Adams' uh, book, or we wouldn't know Neil Adams as he is today. Neil Adam is one of those you know, authors that even at the get-go, at, at his early days, he was, I think, have a very good eyes for panel layout, storytelling, so it's, it's really good, a very good flow. You know, some authors struggle with the uh, story flow, but look at that, beautiful. It's just too bad that uh, he didn't have Dick Giordano do the inking or he inked himself. New Adams end up inking a lot of uh, the later books of this series. So as you, can see, as you will see in the next book that the improvement is night and day. You know, already in his first book for this series, you can see that New Adams already experimented with uh, the panel layout, no longer just square and rectangle. Okay, he's already playing around with using different shapes of the panels to make it more interesting. Some uh, reprint at the end of this book, which we can skip over to uh, make time for other books. Okay, let's jump to issue two hundred seven, which is one of my going for going forward with the rest of the the series as far as new Adams. All the covers are great. Uh, I have a hard time picking my favorite, but just look at this beautiful book. This beautiful drawing. Love the green, the green and the red is gorgeous. This is a beautiful copy too. I also bought this from the same collector that I bought this issue. So this was uh, a nine point two, I think, in a slab that was uh, cracked out. Okay, here we go. This, like I said, look at this beautiful splash page with Neil Adams doing the inking and the penciling. I don't think I need to talk for the rest of this video, but, but I will just flip it through the book so that you can enjoy every single page. For those that have never seen this, you can get a reprint of all of these for very cheap. In case want to see it for yourself. What an awesome page. Look at, the, the, look at how he designed the panels.
for new artists that have haven't had that much um, experience in drawing actions I just love 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 the actions sequences that Adams laid out here it's beautiful beautiful body motions That's it. The rest is a uh, reprint. Last for this video is this book. I love this cover. Look at that. This beautiful, I mean, the foreground of this cover is just gorgeous. I just love how new Adams, you know, for this, the background is cool, but the focus is in a, the front. This one, the front is nice, but the, but the background is gorgeous. I think this might be the nicest, whitest copy I have. Just look at how white the pages are. No yellowing or tanning of the interior covers. Look at that. By the third issue, this issues, I think Neil's are already hitting full stride. This beautiful drawing, absolutely beautiful, and the inking is really tight, clean. Neil is a really good inker too. You know that's why you know it's not easy being an inker for Neil Adams. You know I have read. Uh, many stories over the years from many artists that um, try to work with Neil Adams and uh, Neil make them redo the work or Neil redid their work. I think Bill Sinkovich is one of those inker that worked with Neil in the past and he said Neil was pretty tough. He has high expectation and he has you know he has a look that he he know what he Neil knows what he wants as far as his pictures, his drawing. He know what the end result should look like. So you know if you deviate from what he wants, uh, you're gonna have to redo it. Great, great sequence on this page. Look at that. As in many great drawing, you know, I can stare at this for a long time. I need to zoom in and zoom out, look close up at every little corner of the pictures. Let's look at that wind up for the punch. And here you go. Gorgeous. Only Neil Adams can throw such a beautiful dynamic punch like that. Very different from Jack Kirby, okay? Neil style is not anywhere like Jack Kirby when it comes down to dynamic action, I think. 
they both master in their own ways. Just look at this beautiful. My goodness. And that is it. I hope you enjoy the video and I will try to make uh, at least one or two more uh, video for this series to uh, showcase each book individually. Thanks for watching. Bye.